من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم أتي الله أتي الرسول أولى الأمر منكم and always a reminder for myself and abduk ila jisu da'eef wa miskeen wa za'an wa jahad and but for the grace of Allah that we are still in existence. Allah's immense rahmah and mercy inshaAllah and alhamdulillah through the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad and the guidance of awliyaullah that in this month of reality and the month of Shams al Arifin, the the pinnacle of spiritual knowledges, there's the sunshine and illuminating sun of all realities that through their teaching of the power of nine and the holy month of Jumadani, in which is the blessed uh, passing of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazari Salam or Su Mubarak and the blessed birth of Sayyidatina Fatima Tazara salam and Ursa Mubarak of Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq salam. So immense, immense blessings in this holy month. These are the months in which to ask Allah to be dressed by Allah and to be blessed by our Lord Almighty Allah's might and majesty. The Jumathani and from their teachings and their realities for our guidance into this month and what our Lord is dressing our soul. So these knowledges are meant to give us an understanding and to confirm in our understanding that this entire creation is run by Holy Qur'an. That Allah's uncreated Divinely words that Allah's running and moving this entire universe. This is the one the Ahad, the unique one that nothing is like unto him Allah and it's not even he or she, it's a creator that beyond the understanding of creation. That oneness is the power for all creation and many theories that people trying to put and this whole Dajjalic system trying to put into the theory of one and make their understandings through their jinn understandings. But the theory of one is Ahad, Allahu Ahad and that of course that one whom created everything, everything is numerically counted. Means everything has its scale in which Allah created and that nothing is random. Not an orbit is random, not a movement is random, not a star, not a planet, not me or you and any ant's movement is random. Everything is programmed by Ahad, Allahu Ahad. So this immensity of the power of that one, the one who runs entire universes and creations, that through the holy month of nine times six, and the reality of 54. That this reality of 54 it teaches us that Surah 54 is Surah Al-Qamar, the Surah of the month. So then Allah is drawing our importance to the holy Surah, Surah Al-Qamar and that that Surah Al-Qamar is dressing this month. Every ayat al kareem is teaching us, dressing us and blessing us in this month. The 54th name of Allah Al-Mateen, the forceful one. Al-Mateen and Al-Aziz in which nothing escapes the Creator's will. So when we're talking about the oneness of this universe and that Allah describes every planet is on an orbit, on a track. They're like ships or trains that are moving on tracks. These sifats they teach us that nothing can take it off its tracks but the one who created it. There's not a jinn, there's not an alien nation, there's nothing that can move anything that Allah has established its understanding, its reality and its purpose. The 
name that opens this understanding of Al-Mateen is the name of Sayyidina Muhammad Siraj. Siraj al Muniran, the lamp of Allah This lamp and this lantern that Allah placed within it a nur, a light. That light we call Muhammadun Rasulullah So this name Al-Siraj is the key to the opening of this month and the reality of why this month is called Qamar because he's Siraj and Munira, that he's a lantern that is giving light from Surah An-Nur describes this is a light neither of the east and of the west it's a light upon its own light means the reality of the Muhammadan light not something that can be understood by creation. This is a secret from the oceans of the Creator. The tajalli for this month, Subhana man huwa al-Qa'an yum la yafqaru. Glory be to him who is rich and he never grows in need or indigent. By understanding that tajalli, and understanding its reality, we ask that Allah to dress us and bless us from the immensity of this holy month. We go to Surat Al Qamar, Aj Shahid. I think it's 54, let's see, is it 9 and 10? Or 10, 10 and 11 inshaAllah we start Surat Al Qamar and for us the understanding of the opening and the key for this holy surah, the verses Ayatul Kareem verse 10 and verse 11 inshaAllah to understand that when Allah in this surah is describing guidance and punishment. And how many nations Allah sent for them a guidance. And how many times people denied the guidance and Allah punished and destroyed those nations. InshaAllah <clears throat> we'll go with verse 10 and 11 inshaAllah. A'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir raheem Fada'a rabbahu anni maghloobun fantasir Fafatahna abwaab as-samai bima'in munhamir Sadaqallahu al-Ali al-Azim Sadaqallahu al-Azim wa balakhta Rasulu Kareem Alhamdulillah this is when Sayyidina Nuh approached Allah and described that all my da'wah and all that I'm teaching these people shaitan is destroying everything, destroying all our actions, bringing upon all this sayyat and sins upon the people. And I'm now overtaken by their grief and by the burdens. And alhamdulillah for the Muhammadan heart this has an immense reality that every time this month comes this is the month in which Allah Sifat al Wadud, this is the sixth of the holy months and six is the secret of Divinely love. And all this creation is created by this Divinely love for the purpose of love to be known. In Allah the Divine, the Creator is creating creation that I'm a hidden treasure wanting to be known. 
So no doubt the divinity and the Divine is about love and ishq, love that, that transpires into Divinely service and good character. Means what Allah is looking for are for the human state in which they rise to good character. They take a path in which to bring down their badness and their bad character and to exemplify the good character. As a result Allah dresses their soul with His Divinely love. The whole sort of snapshot of tariqah and the purpose of the tariqahs and spiritual path and spiritual ways and what every guru or teacher or, or preacher should be preaching of Divine love based on good character. Not just to say that God is love and everything is love, God created creation with love and what He expects from us is good character. And to enter this path the first step of it is, La ila anta subhanika inni kuntum min dhalimeen That there's nothing but God and His supremacy and I am verily an oppressor to myself. And only then will Allah Almighty grant a najat or a salvation for a servant who acknowledges his wrong, acknowledges his in, in, inferiority that he's, he's not high, he's not strong, he's, he's not capable of anything but by the grace of God Almighty. So it means that was the step and the entryway into the tariqahs. The tariqahs are not made for arrogant people. So they don't find this door and they don't see it. Those are in all the other talks, it's a hidden path, hidden in plain view. You look at them, ah, it's nothing because in your heart God did not put that in your heart to see it as anything. But if Allah put into the heart of the servant the turuqs and real guidance was, La ila anta subhanika inni kuntum min dhalimeen That there's nothing but your glory and I am verily an oppressor to myself. And when Sayyidina Nanu gives us the example in this ayat al kareem in this holy verse of Holy Qur'an that, My Lord I am, I am overtaken. What's the words that he used here? <clears throat> Verse 10 فَدَعَى رَبَّهُ أَنِّي مَغْلُوبٌ فَانْتَصِيرٌ مَغْلُوبٌ فَانْتَصِيرٌ That I'm been overpowered, Ya Rabbi and help me. Admit to myself I'm continuously overpowered. Means these are very powerful ayat al kareem when we feel we're having difficulty because this is the dialogue in which Allah wants to be talked to. That I'm overcome my Lord, whatever testing has come upon me. Whatever difficulty a servant is going to means they go into their sujood, they make their contemplation, and they speak to Allah through the words of Allah that, I'm overtaken Ya Rabbi, I'm overtaken by the difficulty that shaitan has put upon me, every badness has been put upon me, every type of difficulty is coming towards my way. And Allah's ayat al kareem that gives a response and this is the the glad tidings for the believer. Ajisha. Verse 11. That we open the gates of heaven. That I'm opening up my heaven's gates for you. Because why? You just admitted to me you have been overtaken. 
you're not telling me that you're great. You're not telling me that you, you even put from your mouth, you're someone, you're this, you're that. Allah showing the character that the turuqs teach, that admit you're nothing. Admit that you're overtaken by your bad desires, your bad character and have no problem dressing you for my immense rahmah, my immense mercy. And immediately Allah opens the gates of heaven and showers upon the servants His Divinely water and Divinely blessings. What is this water that comes upon the servant? And we said because the times are, are so near to immense difficulties, you see the signs of Allah in everything and on everyone. In the last few days Allah has opened a sickness upon everyone. Not anyone left or right of you escapes this sickness. That every difficulty comes upon them as a cleansing because Allah not waiting for people to ask. Awliyaullah are teaching and inspiring that this is the system in which your Lord operates. If you want from His dressings and you want from its blessings then learn and come along and speak like we speak, pray like we pray as have how we learned from our shaykh. That this is the time to say to Allah Ya Rabbi I'm overcome by difficulties and then Allah responds, that's why you're sick. That we're going to wash this difficulty away from you. So the water that Allah dresses the servant by is that sickness that people are getting. So if it makes any sense to somebody when they're filled with difficulties and burdens, when Allah's rahmah comes what happens? The body is going now through a, a, a sense of pushing that sickness out, that negativity out, that difficulty out. So then these difficulties in this month is Allah's rahmah dressing His servants. That His lights are opening, the water of the Divines are opening upon them from their head to their toe, their sinuses, sicknesses, everything is being washed from difficulty. Because as shaitan plans to attack them and plans to, to make difficulty upon them, Allah's plan is always greater. That by means of this Allah I'm washing it all out and as a result of washing it all out I'm filling you with Allah's lights. Because anything from the Divinely Presence is nothing of, of dunya. That Mawlana Shaykh would teach, even if a mosquito touches you, Allah took a burden away. And in old times people would have bed bugs, but now they kill them all and took all of that. He said, even the bed bug, every creation of Allah is inspired. That bed bug goes to a specific cell on the body that it understands its coordinates, something's wrong in that cell. It bites it and pulls that blood out. Many, many sicknesses and difficulties were taken by these creatures. They weren't just random things that were happening. So it means even something touches you, Allah when He's cleaning and loving His servant, He's, He's raising them by their difficulty, washing them from Divine lights. It's like anything that you imagine something within you and they wash it and it's not, low, it's not leaving easily. So depending upon the intensity of the difficulty is how much this is trying to stay within insan. <coughs> how much <coughs> these burdens are trying to stay within human beings. And Allah's rahmah and mercy is to wash them and dress them from Divinely lights. And that's why Surat Al-Qamar and the holy month of the holy moon and the reality of the holy moon 
is a, is a month of immense love and light. That Allah said, I'm going to dress these lights as soon as they come onto you from, from your head to your fingers to your toes, this light as it comes it's pushing every badness and negativity and burden out of insan and dressing them and filling them with Divinely lights and Divinely blessings to prepare them now for the seventh month, the month of Allah the holy month of Rajab, the eighth month, the holy month of Sayyidina Muhammad the month of Shaban and the ninth month, the holy month of the entire nation is the holy month of Ramadan in which all the dressings and rewards to be given to the servant. So I mean this path of marifa, this path of Gnosticism, this path of realities is immense and filled with beatific lights and beatific beauties. And the end of this holy surah Allah draws that secret for us to understand and that's verse 55, inshaAllah. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem Fi maq'ad sidqin inda malikin muqtadir Sadaqallahul aliyyul azeem Maq'a sadiqin wa malik al-muqtadir That that is the reality that Allah is saying at the at the purpose of all this dress and all this light is that you'll be seated on a seat of honour near a sovereign. Malik al-Muqtadir is Sayyidina Muhammad whom is the king of sovereignty perfect in all ability. That he is the reflections of Allah's oceans of Al-Qadir, Al-Muqtadir is the perfected power lights of Allah dressing the light of Sayyidina Muhammad and confirming for us in Surat Al-Qamar that the Qamar of Prophet of course is the one and the one whom be dressing you with all these lights and in the end Allah will seat you next to that sovereign king because you're on a path of light into the oceans of reality and blessings. So we pray that Allah dress us in this holy month that to perfect these realities upon our soul and that give people patience through their difficulty, through the cleanings and that to understand that Allah is dressing from oceans of light, oceans of beautific beauty and to take those lights and blessings and know that we're drawing clear, near to the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad in which the luminous lights of ishq and muhabbat to reflect upon the soul, reflect upon the being inshaAllah. That Subhana Rabbika Rabbil Izzati Amma Yasifoon <coughs> Wa Salaamu Al Mursaleen Muhammadillahi Rabbil Alameen Bi Hurmati Muhammad Al Mustafa Wa Bi Siri Surat Al Fatiha <coughs>